Horse Life Simulator has been making the rounds in equestrian gaming circles for a while now, and we're finally getting the chance to hear what the developers have planned for this very beautiful horse game. Yes, I said developers, as two people are working on this project and they're hoping to add someone in the future as well. But for now, we got to. Planned for PC as a single and multiplayer experience, the developer hopes to capture the feeling of truly owning a horse and everything that entails, good and bad. It's a large undertaking to be sure, but there are some elements they are specifically dropping in favor of creating that true horse life simulator. The inspiration for the game was, and I quote, The inspiration comes from my own experiences with working with horses in different stables. The horses I've owned, playing horse games, as well as other games, watching other riders, and a lot of YouTube videos. I've always been very passionate about horses, and since I got my first horse in 2004, Pony Goal, I've had a dream of making a good horse game. At the time, my father was co-designing a browser game, as well as playing both computer and console games, so that might be a reason for my early interest in gaming and game development. Although it took a few more years before I realized it was actually possible for me to achieve what I have now. This video will be looking at all the features planned so far, a possible publication date and a short review on the demo currently available to play. For those interested though, you can actually support this game on Patreon, I will have a link in the description below. But before we do get into that, I'd like to thank my Ko-Fi supporters for being more awesome than Josiah Trelawney coming back for Red Dead Redemption 3. Let's get into it. To start off, let's first get a feel for what the game will specifically be about, then we'll get into the graphical and gameplay aspects, and I quote, Horse Life Simulator will be a real-time simulator, open-world RPG single-player multiplayer game, inspired by everyday scenarios in different types of stable environments, horse communities and horse sports. The goal is to make a realistic horse game with a lot of options inspired by real life. Build and upgrade your farm and stables, buying, selling, training and breeding horses, competing and giving lessons, and having a variety of horses with different abilities. One of our main goals is to make a realistic and challenging riding system, to make the player feel like they are cooperating with the horse and make more realistic progress in training. Now, it sounds like a dream game on paper, really, and that makes me excited, of course, but it will make all of us cynical horse gamers sit back and consider. We can't deny that this game has a big scope, and this is really my greatest worry for the project. However, there are two things to consider. Firstly, the developers do have a good bit of experience developing games. They have been working on smaller projects for a good while now. And secondly, they are sacrificing certain points we might love to see to ensure the project is viable. To start off, this won't be an open world at first. The most you will have is an open area around your estate. You will be able to choose from a few different starting areas at first, but there won't be biomes in a large exploration area, at least at the start. Which makes a lot of sense, as the sharp focus of the game will be disciplines, not story. Speaking of which, there won't be a story either. The idea is to tell your own story, much like Unbridled, which is also aiming to create a tell-your-own-story type of game, with a large amount of disciplines and horse care features to do just that. Horse Life Simulator is taking much the same route. However, they are planning on making a full open world eventually though, which again just brings into focus the scope, but I'll chat about that a little bit later. With the overview of the game out of the way, we can move on and I usually like to start with the world and story, but seeing as both these elements are missing, I'm just going to drive into what everyone really wants me to dive into. Taxes. I'm kidding. Horses, of course. Though to be fair, if you have a horse, you're going to be spending a lot of time doing your taxes. As the game is trying to recreate the most authentic horse life experience, they are aiming to make the horses as realistic as possible. Horses will have bars including health, mood, ability stats, discipline, levels and merits. The ability stats will be strength, endurance, speed, balance, agility, courage, intellect and obedience. And each discipline will have its own stats as well on each horse, which will include knowledge, experience, movement and technique. Already a very complicated base for the horses and this is pretty exciting, as statistics is something horse games often shy away from because they are aimed at kids. As an avid horse racing gamer fan, I'm glad to see more horse games incorporating some more baseline statistics and skills. But more importantly, what breeds will there be? And I quote, I love the differences in every horse breed, so I do want to make as many as possible. The main horse model I have been working with is the Warmblood. The model is inspired by several horses, mainly Hanoverians. The Fjord horse model is also ready and I have started the base for Thoroughbred Arabian Welsh, Lusitano, Frisian and Oldenburg. 
there will be more breeds later. End quote. Breeding will be a big part of the game and they are hoping to add genetics as well. The time frame for breeding will be relative and it will be adjustable in the menu to ensure it doesn't take too long, which is an awesome quality of life feature. A way to make money will be breeding and then selling the horse at a market which will consist of an auction house. Yay for me, I love auction houses. A fun fact though is some of the horses you sell might even pop back up in the auction house which I thought was a seriously sweet touch. You can purchase them back, I like that. Moving on to personalities. Horses will, of course, have personalities, and I quote, Yes, their personalities will affect their training and behavior and mood. Bonding and training will also improve behavior and personality. Personality traits, kind, naughty, calm, restless, sensitive, or stubborn. Personalities will also add value to less athletic horses and ponies and may make them better suited for different tasks or jobs. An example, a horse that is kind and calm will be great for riding lessons and trail rides. As always, I love this element in horse games as it makes the horses feel alive and not just like motorcycles that are horse-shaped. You will also be able to pet and hug horses and give them soothing pats to calm them down, much like the feature in Equestrian in the game, where if a horse spooks, you can pet it to calm it down, like I just said. You will also be able to do this both from the saddle and on the ground. And of course, we will also be able to give the horses scratches. Glorious. Horses will also be able to get injured and become sick. Temperature, training and weather will affect the health of the horse depending on the actions you take as a rider, as she explains. Temperature will have an impact on how you ride. You must warm up in a walk and trot relatively short warm up before training and you must give short breaks and let it walk after training to cool off. Starting too fast or overworking a horse can cause stiffness and injuries. When the horse has the right temperature, the stamina will be optimal and drain slower. The rate of injuries and sickness will depend on the difficulty settings. None or easy, some on standard and more on hard. Other factors that may impact the horse's health, rugs, clippings, massage, diet, barefoot, and horseshoes, end quote. As you can see, there's a lot going on here, and it is truly trying to capture all facets of horse riding. I will be giving my thoughts on the scope of this project a little bit later, as I said, but let's move on for now and rather look at the horse creator. In the current demo, I got a chance to play around with it a bit, and this is still very basic, but this is going to change, and I hope to make it as intricate as possible. The horse creator will not be in the game, but rather in the menu, and every horse you create has a chance to appear in the market. This instantly reminded me of Rival Stars, which has a very similar feature for its game. I've spent many an hour just creating horses for that creator. As has Abigail Pinehaven. I wonder if she has time for much of anything else, really. Then we have Horse Care. It'll be part of the game, of course, but we will be able to hire stable hands. Joy to the world! More stable hands on horse games, please! Let's reset the goal for the game, and I quote, You start with a house, a small stable, and a small arena. The goal of the game is to build your dream horse farm filled with your favorite horses and to achieve the goals you set for yourself, becoming a champion in dressage, show jumping, or eventing, having a top quality riding school or breeding high quality horses, or master every aspect. Some other points they are aiming for, we want to add lunging, groundwork, and taming process. Pressure release and timing will be the most important functions in dressage. The timing of praise and calming pats will also influence the horse's behavior, motivation, and experience boost. If you push the horse too much, it will lose focus and become stressed. We may also add experience or stat degradation, training, breeding, and selling horses, competitions, riding lessons, trail ride, and horse leasing, end quote. Once again, a large scope, but I can't deny it sounds very appealing. The game will be a sort of RPG in the sense that you choose the discipline you wish to master and what you'd like to do with each horse. This is wonderful and I'm wondering if other skills will also be added to the game, like a training skill which will make overall training go faster, or calmness giving you the skill to calm troubled horses. I'd also like to see some bad rider traits like hot seat, making otherwise calm horses fiery and fiery horses downright murderous. I'm spitballing, but I've always wanted a proper horse game RPG and any time a game adds that to its title, my ears prick up. But let's chat about the disciplines. For now, we have three disciplines, and I quote, dressage, show jumping, and eventing. We want to add more disciplines later, like driving, western, racing, and maybe even more. Each discipline will have a different riding style and will require a different skill. In the case of jumping, it will work like this. Currently, the horse jumps cavaletti and cross-country fences automatically and regular fences manually. We will be testing different options and settings later as it will most likely depend on how well the AI of the horse will be. 
We want to create a perception system slash AI for the horse to register the fences and jump accordingly, height, length, and angle. Most horse games do not keep the joy in jumping low fences when it has reached a higher level than jumping. So here the horses will not over jump, but give a more realistic effort based on the height and type of the fence. That way it will feel more natural and still a little challenging when jumping fences below the horse's level. End quote. Once again, striding is part of the system. However, I do hope they add a simpler version for players who prefer the space to jump mechanic, as I do understand people do enjoy that mechanic quite a lot, and it is challenging in its own way. Currently, it is a space to jump mechanic, and I'm enjoying it. I believe it has something to do with being very satisfying, whereas just letting the horse jump can feel a bit eh, but it depends on how it is done. As Ride actually did have a great striding system and never asked you to hit space to jump, it was still very satisfying. Also, that game had personalities and it is over 10 years old now and still stands as the most complex horse game on the market that has been fully released. Where did horse games go so wrong? I recently tried to answer that question in a brand new podcast for Ponygon. Myself, Sandy Darkfall and Just Peachy look at the past and future of horse games. Be sure to check that out. Link in the description below. In any event, the show jumping sounds a lot of fun, but the dressage will of course be handled a little bit differently. And I quote, We also aim to make this as realistic as possible, with different buttons and combinations representing the rider's aids. You will be able to give the horse different signals to perform every dressage movement. There aren't enough buttons to make it 100% realistic, but we want to get as close as possible. We'd also like to add a dressage program editor. This will give the players the possibility to create a dressage test they ride in real life in game. They can even use it to practice for a real test. I have personally done this already for both show jumping and dressage. I quite like the editor idea. It's going to give the dressage rider something to do and should encourage some creativity on their end. Also, one thing that is very interesting is the animation aspect of the game. Some of you might already have noticed the absolutely beautiful animation of the horses. Not perfect, but pretty good still. Now, in dressage, there's always been the issue that it's not only about nailing the change of the gate, but also the gate itself. The developers said there will be a good and bad animation for the dressage. Specifically, this is done by using layers and blending of animations, which means a horse can, for example, turn without turning, or it can have rhythm but no height in the passage. This is a very cool feature. Training will also incorporate this animation. The more you train, the better the animation and gait of the horse will get. The horse will also have a focus bar, which will determine how long a horse can keep doing a movement. This all sounds very exciting for the dressage, and I certainly am looking forward to seeing what else will be implemented. And then there is the racing. They will also be adding racing as a discipline for horses, as an actual horse racing, with harness racing being another possibility. Now this is where I felt the scope was getting just a bit too big as they are also considering Western. Although it is feasible to add all of these disciplines into the game, my concern is how well it can be implemented. Quality over quantity, rather make each discipline well than adding a bunch of disciplines and doing them badly. I don't want to be a downer, but I do sometimes feel that feature creep is a real issue, especially with horse games. We want to have a game that includes every single facet and aspect of horse life, because we want the game to embody our fantasy of owning a real horse, and although that is a lofty goal, it is not always possible. But let's move on to competitions. There will be club, local, district, national, international cups and championships. And then, on top of that, competitions for specific breeds. They are hoping to have breed classes in particular. You will have to qualify with each horse per competition level. Horse abilities will factor into how far they can get into a competition, even if their stats are high. Meaning, if you have two horses with the same stats, if their abilities are different, one will do good and the other won't. You'll essentially learn which abilities are good for which discipline. Now, here is how the competitions will be judged, and I quote, in dressage, you will be judged on how precise you ride your horse, the right way, gates and movements. Also, your skill, the horse's skill, behavior and obedience. Bond, harmony may also influence the score. In show jumping, there will be different classes to choose from. Clear round, classes with optimum time, regular round with separate or direct jump off. In eventing, all disciplines will initially be held on grass. We will start with one day events, where you start with dressage, then show jumping and then finish with cross country. One thing we want to add is to record the rounds and with the option to rewatch and save it. End quote. I love all of this. Very well done. Each discipline clearly has some thought put into it and it has some complexity to look forward to. Some of the points for gameplay. The game will have a three camera style, a locked third person, a free camera third person and a first person mode. The game will have multiplayer but more of a co-op style like Phasmophobia. Ghost hunting on horseback. Can someone make this game? You will be able to visit each other's farms and ride together. Hopefully while hunting ghosts. The other facet of multiplayer will be competitions but they are still tweaking this. 
this, as they would like the game to be as fair as possible, so this is not set in stone. You will also be able to modify and change your buildings, obviously not as intricate as Sims, but some modification is planned for buildings to give you some freedom. In closing, the world, horses and gameplay is very wide and very big. I love ambition, and if they can pull it off, I will be a very, very happy horse gamer. I'm very excited, but I'm just a touch worried, as I've stated before, about the size of it. Eight levels of competitions and breed specific competitions on top of that. My concern is that it could be done in a very superficial way. Equestrian the game has breed specific competitions and they are just the same thing as the global competitions. There really is no depth here and I'm worried if the game keeps stretching the scope it will be as wide as an ocean but deep as a puddle. Now, the developer did discuss this with me and they essentially said this. Many features will be considered only at a later date as the progress of the game continues. They will start pretty basic and then slowly expand and add more features as they move forward. Health and different competition types will only be considered in the future as they explain. Now, this is good and I hope that they keep their cool and don't let the feature creep take over as they move forward. As for now, the game does actually look and play very good. And this gives me the idea that they might have the know-how and skill to maybe pull this off. The demo has a very basic horse creator and indoor arena, show jumping arena, a stable and some cross country. First off, the graphics and visual is very slick and it has a very sort of brightness to it that I quite like. It feels very light and almost happy. The horse movement, as you can see here, is gorgeous and it makes me excite the dressage in particular. Currently, there are extended, working and collected trot, canter and walk. And then we have jumping. The jump is currently controlled by the spacebar. If you don't hit space, the horse just runs straight through the jump. Whee! Getting the timing right is pretty tricky and is quite fun to attempt. You can also see the horses are doing some basic flying changes and that is also very slick and very pretty. Finally, we have the canter and trot poles, which was my favorite. If you ride over them, the horse's animations will change slightly. This happens for walk, trot and canter. Better yet, if you go over them in collection, the animation will be different than if you're going over at extension. It's quite a lot of work and effort for a demo and showcases the emphasis on clean, smooth transitions and animations. The areas are nice and enhance the airy and bright feeling I mentioned earlier. You can already splash through some rivers and there is quite a decent space to explore, but if you stray too far, the darkness will take you. Over Overall, the demo does give me a lot of hope for the skill of these developers. They are clearly very skilled in what they are doing, and the scope, although quite large and something that does worries me, could actually potentially be made by two people with the know-how, passion and finances to make it work. It won't happen overnight though, but there is a ton of potential here and I am cautiously optimistic for this game.